Hi. Do you use energy in your life? Of course you do. And every time, every single moment you are using energy, right from brushing your teeth, eating lunch, dinner, sleeping in the night, using computers, hands, television, traveling, using your car, all kind of things you are using energy. And where this energy comes from? This energy comes from mainly three resources. Coal, oil and gas. All these are fossil resources and 80% of world energy today is fulfilled by these three resources. So in such times, is it possible to live a single day without using fossil based energy? So during this corona times, I have taken a challenge upon myself to live seven days without using coal, oil or gas based energy. How did I do that? I am going to show you in this video. There are three usage of energy in our daily life for home and office appliances, for cooking and for transportation. One by one, I will show you how I made this requirement. I have completed this zero energy challenge while living in this campus of education park in Madhya Pradesh of India. First category of electricity use is for appliances. I use lights, computers, fan, mobile charger and water pump for my daily needs. And the total electricity requirement was around 1.7 units per day. Now I am standing here among the solar panels that are installed in this campus. Also, this is the summer time and the temperature here during the 7 days challenge was 43 to 44 degrees centigrade. It was super hot here. But because of the special solar passive design of the building, I could manage during these 7 days using just a fan. Now the amount of electricity generated here is good enough to fulfill my needs for water supply, computer charging, fan, light. Everything was very easily met using this. The entire solar system here is completely off the grid, which means that it does not have any connection with the electricity grid. It does not take any electricity from the grid, neither it gives any electricity to the grid. And therefore, this campus has a solar system with its own battery backup. Second category was the energy needs for cooking. For cooking my meals during the seven day challenge, I made a special arrangement in this campus. These panels were available, though they are not of the same size. There are three panels of different size, one panel of different size. But still I managed them to connect in series and parallel to get the desired voltage and the desired current. Total energy generated by these panels were good enough to cook three meals in a day. The breakfast, lunch and dinner. Of course, I also made an arrangement so that I can do the cooking during the non-sunshine hours. For the non-sunshine hours, I stored this energy in the battery. And the batteries I used was a uh, lidocyte battery, a uh, 12 volt 40 ampere hour. I used four batteries to make a series arrangement storing total energy of about 2 kilowatt hour. But lidocyte batteries have 50% depth of discharge and therefore I could extract only half of the energy from it. That is 1000 watt hour or 1 kilowatt hour. Now 1 kilowatt hour energy is good enough for cooking a meal of a person during the non sunshine hours. I designed a special cook stove to use solar electricity for cooking. For cooking, I chosen to design a resistive based cook stove as it is very simple to generate heat using resistive elements. For that, I required two elements, one was the ceramic plate and other the nichrome wire. The typical nichrome wires available in the market are designed for 230 volt supply. But I wanted a low resistance nichrome wire but high power because I wanted to operate the coil at 48 volt only. It was not easy to find the optimum and I had to connect the several nichrome wire in parallel to get the low resistance which led to many problems resulting in the breaking of the coil, melting 
but eventually after many trials they could stabilize the solution the second element of the cook stove is the housing for ceramic plate which should be designed in a manner that not only it holds the vessel but also minimize the heat loss from the sides and from the bottom with the help of local people and also the local soil available there we made several designs some of them worked and some other did not work but eventually we managed to pull everything and the ceramic plate functioning as well as its housing worked very well and we could cook all kind of meals including the chapatis uh, the sabji the vegetables uh, and we could do the roasting as well as frying very well there was a day when for half a day it was completely cloudy and there was a kind of a storm and that particular day there was no energy storage in the battery and as a result of that one meal of the seven days i could not cook and therefore i did not eat but except that one particular meal all seven days were good enough to cook all the meals that required the third category of energy requirement is for transportation for traveling my energy consumption was zero as it is it is a lockdown period and we were not allowed to go outside otherwise i would have traveled by bicycle and i would have used battery operated vehicle these days you can get easily a small two wheeler which is operated with the battery and i would have managed that also on the solar end this is how i lived during the 7 days 0% carbon energy challenge i did not use any single drop of coal crude oil or gas based energy during these 7 days i lived 100% on solar energy we need energy source which is infinite and sustainable and only solar energy is infinite carbon based energy sources are finite and will disappear some day so for all good reasons let us start shifting from carbon based living to solar based living let us quickly move to 100% solar based living before it becomes too late we have only one planet the planet earth there is no planet b available for us thank you very much for watching this video